Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're going to be going over some update details that are coming in the future and an event that we're going to be getting soon and some stuff dealing with Fastnack. So let's get into it here. Got another perfectly preserved pie. Okay, so there's a new Inside the Vault. I will link this in the description in case you want to check it out yourself. But it does say, we hope your new year is off to a great start. Our team enjoyed a lovely winter break full of rest with our friends and family. And some of us even had a pleasure of running in, running into you in the wasteland. We have a lot of exciting plans for 2024 in case you missed it in our letter to the community. At the end of December, art director John Rush announced our plans to expand our map southward deep into the wooded heartland of Shenandoah. I probably said that wrong. I apologize for that. But we've known about this for a bit now, so let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about this map expansion coming up. But this isn't exactly new news that we're going to be getting to here in a sec. We're going to be talking about the uh, PTS that's new basically coming out and the Burning Love event. So let's just switch on over here. This is about the private test server, which I'm hoping to take part in. If you're new to our PTS, which I am experienced and wondering how to join, it's easy. All players who own a copy of Fallout 76 on Steam can also access separate game download to install and play in their Steam library. Now that progress from the PTS does not carry over into the live game and the Atomic Shop is disabled. So I'm looking very forward to taking part in this. I'm not sure if I can make videos on it or anything like that, but definitely look for that in the future. It's going to take me a little bit to get that set up, but we will be in the PTS very soon as we did have a very successful stream today with the new PC. So definitely excited to get into that and maybe test some of the future updates that are coming out, which I think aren't until March for this. We are getting an update for January 30th, 30th as well, I think. We've seen reports of stability concerns and released a hotfix on Friday, December 8th that addressed these issues, which is a long time ago. So we're we're just going to skip that part. Our next update for Fallout 76 is currently planned for January 30th, like I was just saying, and it will address bu or sorry, address bugs such as non-lootable union power armor, which we've all been talking about. I even made a video about it showing you how to pick up the armor if you want to know how to do that. Um, I'll link that in the description as well. And missing communist crafting items. I've been hearing about this as well, and I can, you know, understand people being upset over it. We're also investigating the reports of missing X01 radiation resistances, which we've talked about in the past as well, and we'll provide you with more information on those fixes as soon as we can. As always, we thank you for your feedback and bug reports. So, it definitely looks like a lot of the stuff will be fixed on January 30th, which we've also known in the past as well. We, we heard that we were going to get the... Uh, the radiation on the X01 fixed, the Union Power Armor pieces fixed, and I think we will be getting the um, different variant of the um, the expedition as well back that we used to be able to get a lot of XP on. But on to the upcoming event, the Burning Love event. This is new news. Have you ever been so in love that your whole body feels like it's on fire? No? Well, how about setting someone else on fire? That made me chuckle when I first read it. Uh, starting January 30th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, claim the free Hot Rod Pink Flamer skin in the Atomic Shop and use it to complete special Burning Love weekly challenges like we've had in the past. I think we're all familiar with this. And you'll get legendary modules, perk cards, repair kits, and more. Complete four out of the five weekly challenges to unlock the weekly challenge reward, which I'm going to show you right now. So this is just like previous um, events that we've had, and I will make a guide for this. As simple as it is, I will make a guide. Um, the pink mechanic jumpsuit is a reward for the first week. Um, rose tinted glasses, the reward for the second week. We get a pink fireplace for completing the event, so complete at least four out of the five challenges like it just said. And get ready to kindle those flames. The Burning Love Challenge event ends 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 13th, just in time for Fastnack to begin. We'll return with another Inside the Vault closer to fast snack day with a recap of tips tricks for the event plus images of new rewards you can add to your collection even though we have some pictures we're gonna see soon in the meantime mark your calendars for the event running from february 13th and 27th and stock up on that canned meat stew i would rather stock up on brain bombs if i'm being honest um, we've also got a double xp weekend coming in february as well uh during the final uh fast snack weekend so Definitely looking forward to this. We have some new masks that I'm going to show you. 
And big shout out to Nuka Knights. Um, I wouldn't be able to bring this information if it wasn't for them. If you have not checked out their website, I will link it in the description. Absolutely amazing. They are on top of all the good news coming out. And this is why I'm able to bring you this video. So definitely go check out their site, everybody. I will link it in the description. It is definitely worth checking out if you want to keep up on the new Fallout 76 news. Uh, but uh, here's one of the new masks that we're getting, and I'm assuming this is a Honey Beast mask, it sort of looks like, which is very cool. I'm hoping to get all of these, as I already have all the Fastnack masks. I have to have, or keep my collection complete. Um, we have the Scorch Beast Queen mask as well. You can see the little um, crown on her there, the whatever you want to call it. That's pretty cool, actually. And we also have the Blue Devil Mask, which is very cool. That's probably my favorite out of these three. I heard there's going to be more masks than this, but I think it's just variants of these ones that will be more of common and some will be rare. Um, here's an Agua Mask, but this one and the next one I'm, that I'm going to show you, the Robot Mask, um, Nuka Knights was saying that it's going to be an Atomic Shop only item, so you won't be able to get those from just doing the uh, parade, I don't think, anyway. These will be in the Atomic Shop. But the first three, you should be able to earn them and earn variants of them. Um, don't quote me on that, that's just my opinion and how it looks so far. Also, it looks like we are getting a battle pass, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to Nuka Knights for finding out all this information. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, if you read it right there, it says Season 16 Battle Pass. Unlock access to all premium Fallout first locked rewards in Season 16. Unlocks boost for all characters on your account. And it even says Season 16 Battle Pass. So it looks like you'll be able to get all the extra rewards from the scoreboard without having to get Fallout first, which would be very cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it, everybody. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, what you think all this stuff is. Definitely a surprise to see all this. Big shout out to Nuka Knights. You guys are awesome. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Have a great day.